Thank you, Minister Gila Gamliel. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the Sovereignty Conference in English, uh, reaching out to the world. Before I go on, I want to thank Nadia Matar and Yehudi Katzover of the Sovereignty Movement. You know, you know, Yehudi and Nadia are land activists. Uh, they are political activists, <clears throat> but they are also teachers. And one of the things that they've brought out is a simple word, sovereignty. They brought it out into the world. Beforehand, we didn't know exactly how to say the whole thing that we mean in one word. They were like, sovereignty. That's the word. Push it out. They called the movement that, and everybody, it's on everybody's lips. Sovereignty. So thank you very much for teaching us uh, that simple word that encompasses all that we mean. Uh, and thank you for this conference. Uh, folks, uh, 1,200 people murdered. 150 still abducted. Uh, many soldiers killed and wounded. Um, Israel's strategic situation is not simple with dangers from Gaza, Lebanon, Iraq, Yemen, Iran, American campus, and even at The Hague. We face a lot of challenges. Uh, Israel's democracy was till very recently on very shaky ground with a lot of uh, divided polity. But this war has brought us together. I want to show you something that, Yehudi, uh, that uh, Nadia mentioned for a second, and that is that the Ribonut movement uh, uh, commissioned recently, just yesterday came out, a poll of Israeli public opinion, asking them simple things. Do you want a Palestinian state in Judea and Samaria? 74%? No. Israelis? No. Do you want to see um, uh, uh, Israel to help voluntary emigration, voluntary resettlement of Gazans? 76%. Yes. These are numbers of public opinion. Things are changing. Israel's, we had a division not so long ago, now we're having some unity through this war. Indeed, right now, clarity is needed and a vision of victory is required. All, this, all the problems that we've faced really come from the failed idea of the two-state solution uh, all the way back to the uh, UN partition plan. The madness of land giveaway. When I speak to Arabs in Hebron, they tell me all the time one thing. They say, look, Ishai, you guys have left Gaza, you left Sinai, you left South Lebanon, you left Judea and Samaria. You're shrinking. You're shrinking, and with time we will see you gone totally. Like we saw the Crusaders be gone as well. That is what the Arabs say. That is what they think. And that is all fruit of the two-state solution idea. We feed right into that when we tell them, yeah, we're leaving. They're like, you're going to leave partially, then you're going to leave all the way.